Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to go ahead and give my review over Brat Loves Judy. Listen, okay. So Brat Loves Judy is a cute show. I definitely think that they should probably come back for a second season if they want to. But I don't know if Brat Loves Judy is the type of show that is worth reviewing, if that makes sense. Like, I think it's worth watching, but I don't think it's enough that goes on to the point where, girl... Like, I feel like I have to pull. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm, like, having to pull at to find stuff to talk about. Because the things that are happening is just kind of, like, lovey-dovey stuff. You know, which is cute. Like I said, I think it's a cute show. And I'm going to continue watching it. And I'm also going to continue to review the show. But I think by the second show, and this is sad because this is on the third episode. By the second episode, I realized, like, oh, this is just a cute lovey-dovey you know, a lesbian show. Shout out to the lesbians. Um, you know, and I want to try to support the LGBTQ. You know, first we had T.S. Madison. Um, I think I missed a couple of uh, shows of her season. And I think it was only like six episodes. And then we got, you know, Brad and Judy. So, yeah. And then, you know, I try to do my little Chase in Dallas and Chase in Atlanta on um, YouTube. But yeah, it's a cute show, but I don't know if it's like worth reviewing, though, if that makes sense. Worth watching, but I don't know about worth review reviewing. I don't know, girl. Anyways, let's just talk about the show, and we're going to make it do what it do. All right, so they, you know, the last episode, they had got into an argument downstairs. You know, Brad is somewhat, in my opinion, Brad is somewhat sensitive and very defensive. So Brad is outside smoking a cigarette. Ugh. I hate cigarette smoke, even though my grandmama, hey, shout out to my grandmama. Even though my grandmama used to smoke cigarettes like a chimney when we were in high school, girl. Y'all know I live with my grandmother. Some of y'all might not know, but I lived with my grandmother my last two years of high school. And I remember, girl, I didn't even realize that we smelled like cigarette smoke. Girl, it got to the point where, girl, some of the teachers thought that I, was, that I smoked at school. And I never realized that even my friends would tell me, like, no, girl, you smell just like cigarette smoke. Anyways, girl. But so Brad is outside smoking. Um, she don't smoke no more, girl. She ain't had no choice but to stop. Hello? Um, but anyway, so Brad outside smoking one of those cancer sticks. And um, my grandmother don't have cancer. But you know, that's what we call them, cancer sticks. Anyways, but she outside smoking one of those cigarettes and she called Judy and you know, they on the phone. <laughs> Mind you, Judy in the house. She outside. I said, these, these lesbians ain't dramatic. So, girl, Brad go in the house. They have a conversation. Um, again, I think it's just that Brad is sensitive. She gets defensive. Um, I think that when you ask questions and she feels as though you're... She's just defensive. That's all it is, girl, in my, in my, in my opinion. Um... Judy is starting to think, um, you know, with the arguments that are happening between them, should she's starting to have doubts and question whether or not she should propose. Because, you know, she's proposing to Brad in this, uh, the next episode or the episode of the next. Anyways, um, so Judy. Judy reaches out to Lisa Ray. Now, everybody knows about the fight that happened or I'm not, not necessarily a fight, but the exchange that happened between Lisa Ray and the brat on the queen. What is that show called with Claudia Jordan and Vivica and Selena Johnson, Lisa Ray Queens and cocktails, cocktails and Queens. I don't know. It comes on Fox soul, but everybody pretty much knows about the exchange that happened between the brat and Lisa Ray probably like a year ago. Um, I guess they were, you know, estranged from each other and the brat kind of just popped up out the blue to wish Lisa Ray a happy birthday and Lisa Ray felt some type of way about it. So Judy is, is inviting Lisa Ray to the party slash engagement. Um, she texts her, hey, long time, just wanted to invite you to like Brad's birthday party. Lisa Ray texts back and said, I'm very, very busy, but I'll try and I'll try and come. <laughs> Lisa Ray says she's very, very busy. 
I don't know Lisa Ray. I don't know what's on Lisa Ray's itinerary. I don't. I don't know what she got. I don't know what Lisa Ray working on. Lisa Ray, I don't think you're very, very, very busy. I think she put three berries too. Either she put three or two, but I know it was two or three. You're not that busy, Lisa Ray. I refuse to believe you that busy. Okay? And then if your relationship is that important to you, if your relationship with your sister is that important to you, girl, you'll make time to go see your sister. That's, that's how I look at it. And if, if, it was a, if the roles were reversed, I would say the same thing about Brad. If, you're, if that relationship, relationship is that important, you'll make sure you go see your sister. Anyways, so... Brad and Judy go to the mailbox and um, they see the mind doctor. Remember, I forgot to mention, the last episode, uh, Brad had mentioned a mind doctor that helped Lil Bow Wow and I guess his girlfriend worked through some stuff. I don't know. Come to find out the mind doctor, first of all, when they showed the mind doctor, they started playing sexy music. <laughs> Girl, remember the guy that was on Married to Medicine? The guy that Dr. Heavenly was going to? Girl, that's the doctor. So anyways, he said he, uh, Brad, won, uh, Brad, once they saw him, they were taking the trash out and he was walking to his mailbox, their next door neighbors, and they saw him. And so she, you know, they went and spoke and asked him, told him about her friend Montana and his wife that are going through. She said they're going through a divorce. So I guess they're going through, I don't know, they didn't say that last episode. They made it seem as though they were just like separated, but I guess they're actually going through a divorce. I don't know, girl. She just wants them to sit down and talk to Montana and his wife. Um, Brad talks to Bella. You know, Bella is Brad's uh, manager. She just came back from a vacation. She talks to Bella about Judy wanting them to go to um, therapy, whatever. The next scene, Judy, I mean, Brad go. no, Judy, Judy. Is Judy ass real, y'all? That's what I want to know. I know she got some work done, but I didn't know. I know. I knew she probably got some lipo, tummy tuck and all that. But it's her, I don't know if her, her ass like it might be real though. I don't know. Anyways, um, so Judy meets up with, girl, I put Judy meets, <laughs> I put Judy meets up with teeth. Girl, her, her, her party planner is a, a pretty woman. But baby, I don't, every time I see her on the screen, all I see is teeth. That's probably what y'all say about me too when I be cheesing. But girl, her teeth are like super, super, super duper, super duper white. You're like super duper white. Anyways, girl, so they meet up at the party space. Um, I will say the space looks great. I loved the view. You know, I love Mill View. Oh, I love Mill View. Um, so Judy goes to the space with, to see the space with her makeup artist. Her and Brad have the same makeup artist. So the makeup artist is saying in the confessional, if they don't know who's gonna show up, Brat or Shante. Brat is like the hood bitch. Shante is like the softy, right? So they don't know once this whole pro birthday proposal happens, who they're gonna get. Brat or Shante? That's the question. That's like the million dollar question, right? Uh, or the seven hundred sixty-five thousand dollar question. Hello. Um, Kenzie and Deja arrive. Um, Kenzie, is, well, who is Kenzie? Kenzie, the, the little baby, so cute. Deja is very, very pretty. Um, you know, I say pretty. Um, Deja is very, very pretty. I didn't realize that until she was in the confessional. Um, Judy says, so it's me, Brad, six dogs, Deja, and a baby, and it's one house. Bitch, you also not adding how much square footage you got, a basketball court. Girl, it's not no regular 1,200 square foot home, bitch. Now, yes, most of the house is under construction. I will give that much. So they put they put um, Deja and Kenzie in the, the uh, theater room. So that's where they're sleeping at. I mean, 
Girl, it really, I, in, in, in their defense, it really ain't too much. It ain't really know where they can go. The entire house is under construction. The kitchen, they don't have a kitchen. They literally have to eat out every day. Um, I think they have like a little sink and a refrigerator, but I don't think it's an oven down there. Um, but they li literally have to eat out every day. The sink is a mess. I was with Judy when they had the little girl walking around. Why y'all got this little girl walking around in the construction? Now, if she step on a, if she step on a, a, on a nail, then y'all gonna be trying to sue the construction workers. Pick that little girl up. Hello. Um, Brad seems like she's cool with the baby, with uh, Deja. Um, they kind of do a tour of the house. The house looks like it might be nice. I don't know because from what I can see already, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It looked like Jude, Judy and Brad got tacky ass taste. I hate that bed they sleep in. That bed looked like some Willy Wonka chocolate factory type of shit. Do you hear me? So I really don't know how this house is gonna look. I really don't know how their taste is, but based off of their bed, they look like they're gonna be tacky as hell. Hello? It looked like it's gonna be some whole, like a whole bunch of shit going on in that house. You know who else, you know who else I think probably got tacky taste? Beyonce. I don't know why I think I think if I looked at I think if we saw be I think like I think Beyonce house will remind will remind me of like Wendy Williams house. <laughs> Believe it or not. Anyways, um they have a meeting at the end of the show. It looked like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it really looked like they pulled three motherfuckers off of the street and said, Hey, we need you to come in and shoot a scene for this TV show. I'll pay you a hundred dollars. Girl, the man was like, oh, we, start, we started, at, at, started out at 10%. They sent me an email. We at 100% now. Something like that. The one, one woman said something. The other woman said something. Judy was like, so do y'all need anything from me? She was looking at her phone. And then it was like, okay. And that was the end of it. It really looked like those people do not work for you, Judy. I really want to understand. And I'm not trying to be funny when I say this. Because I don't know nothing about no business. But I would assume that if you have almost a $60 million business, then girl, you got more than four people working for you. I guess as far as like, oh, executive assistant. She had an executive assistant. Girl, I don't know. It just seems weird to me. I would think that you would have way more people than that. I would think that, like, when, when, even when they went to the factory, they showed two people. Now, mind you, they were just moving stuff in, inside of the factory. I don't know. It's just some stuff got, it, it's kind of like got me questioning, like, girl, how y'all making all this money? But, girl, it almost looked like y'all got about this many employees. Maybe that's all they need. I don't know. Anyways, the episode ends with Brad and Judy talking about going to therapy. Girl, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think that a lot of this shit that's going on the show is just like made up drama for TV. Um, girl, I feel like they forget that they talk about certain stuff. Because, girl, if I hear y'all talk about ther therapy session one more time in this episode, I was going to scream. If I hear Brad mention one more time about her temper, girl, I'm going to scream. It is what it is, girl. I guess they're just trying to entertain us. All right, y'all. It's hot in my apartment, y'all. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.